Hey everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, where we turn Salesforce Trailhead modules into clear, hands-on lessons you can follow step by step. Today, we're focusing on one of the most powerful skills in reporting, filtering your reports in Salesforce Lightning. This is where the magic happens, when a wall of data becomes focused, meaningful insight. By the end, you'll be able to explain the different types of report filters, apply them to refine your results, and use filter logic to build flexible conditions that match real business questions. Ready to sharpen your report building skills? Let's get started. Why do filters matter? When you're working with Salesforce data, filters are how you get precise. They help you answer practical questions like, which customers are active this quarter? Which cases are still unresolved? or which opportunities are early in the pipeline. Instead of scrolling through endless rows, filters let you zero in on what matters so you can take action quickly. With that in mind, let's explore the filter types you'll use in the report builder. Let's explore the types of filters. Salesforce gives you five key ways to refine a report, each serving a different purpose but working beautifully together. Standard filters come built in for most report types, You'll often see show me which scopes data around users, think my accounts versus all accounts, and a date field with a range such as all time or last month. These give you instant high impact control without adding extra rules. Field filters target specific values. You choose the field, pick an operator like equals or greater than, and set a value. Add them from the filters tab search bar or by dragging a field from the fields panel, whichever feels quicker. Cross filters bring related records into play without any code. You can build accounts with opportunities or contacts without activities, then refine with sub filters such as opportunities where stage equals prospecting. It's perfect for relationship based questions and exception reporting. Filter logic controls how multiple filters work together. Use and, or, and not. For example, one or two, and three means either filter one or two must be true, and filter three must also be true. Parentheses let you group conditions so the logic mirrors the real world rule. Row limit caps the number of rows in tabular reports, great for top 10 lists and dashboard tables. Choose the limit, the sort field, and the order to surface your highest value records at a glance. Let's help Lance Park, our Ursa Major Solar Sales Rep, refine his direct customer accounts report to show only direct customers he owns. Open the Reports tab and select Direct Customer Accounts, then click Edit to open the Builder. Move to the Filters tab and start with the Show Me filter. Set it to My Accounts and click Apply, so the report reflects Lance's ownership. Next, click Add Filter, choose the Type field, set the operator to Equals, and select Customer, Direct. Click Apply, then Save and Run to view the finished result. In a single pass, you've narrowed the report to just the records Lance cares about. Quick tip, avoid heavy use of not equals filters on large datasets. They can impact performance and are often better replaced with positive inclusion logic where possible. Now let's step up to cross filters. Lance wants to find accounts with opportunities stuck in early sales stages. From reports, click new report, choose accounts and start report. On filters, set show me to all accounts and the created date to all time, so nothing is hidden by default. Open the More Actions menu and pick Add Cross Filter. Keep accounts as the parent, choose with, select opportunities, and apply. You'll see a new filter appear. Click Add, Opportunities Filter, select Stage, Set Equals, and tick Prospecting, Qualification, Needs Analysis, and Value Proposition. Apply those changes, then save as accounts with early stage opportunities. You've created a powerful relationship view that highlights where early stage deals might need a nudge. Let's now apply filter logic. Meet Erin, another Ursa Major Solar Rep. She needs open opportunities that are either worth more than $100,000 or have probability greater than 50%. Create a new opportunities report and change close date to all time to make sure you can see enough data. Add two filters. Amount greater than 100000 and probability percent greater than 50. Now open more actions and choose add filter logic. Change one and two to one or two and apply. Erin now gets results where either condition is met 
or both. Remember, you can add parentheses and not for extra control. For example, one or two and not three if you needed to exclude a particular segment. Next, locking filters. Sometimes you don't want viewers altering a key filter. Say Erin builds a report for the indirect sales team showing only partner opportunities. She adds, lead source contains partner, then checks locked before applying the filter. Viewers can still see the rule for transparency, but they can't modify it, keeping sensitive views consistent and aligned with your sharing model. Great stuff. Now let's attempt the hands-on challenge. In this challenge, you'll be building a report that helps Ada Balewa, a product support specialist at Ursa Major Solar, keep an eye on customer support cases, specifically for energy and electronics industry clients that haven't yet been escalated. You'll also make sure to exclude any structural defect cases using filter logic to refine your results. Let's get started. First, open your Trailhead Playground and head over to the Reports tab. Begin by creating a new report and choose Cases as the report type. This will pull data from all customer support case records. Next, adjust the standard filter for date units. Set units to days. This determines how your time-based filters will display in the report. Now, take a moment to check the fields included in your report. Make sure you can see industry status and type. If any of these are missing, simply add them using the Add Column option in the Outline panel. Once that's done, it's time to define your custom filters. And the order matters here. Start by adding two filters for industry. The first should be Industry equals Energy. The second should be Industry equals Electronics. Then, set up a third filter for status not equal to escalated. This ensures that you're only seeing cases that haven't yet been escalated. Finally, add a fourth filter, type equals structural. You'll use this one to exclude structural defects later through filter logic. Now let's tie everything together using filter logic. In the filter panel, click add filter logic and enter this formula, one or two and three and not four. This means your report will show cases where the industry is either energy or electronics. The case status is not escalated and the type is not structural, exactly what Ada needs. When your report preview looks right, save it with the name Cases by Status. Place it in the public reports folder so it's shared with your team. And there you have it, a well-structured report that highlights open, unescalated cases for key industries while filtering out any structural defect issues. It's a great example of how powerful filter logic can be when tailoring reports for specific business needs. Great stuff. Key takeaways while you verify your challenge. Filters turn broad data into focused answers. Combine standard, field, cross, and row limit filters to refine what appears. Then use filter logic to mirror real-world rules with AND, OR, and NOT. When consistency matters, lock critical filters so your report stays trusted and stable. Master these tools and you'll control the narrative of your reports clearly and confidently. And that's Filter Your Report Made Simple. If this helped, give the video a thumbs up, hit subscribe and tap the notification bell so you don't miss the next Salesforce walkthrough from the Declarative Academy. Until next time, keep learning, keep experimenting and keep blazing your trail one report at a time.